Hi, I'd like to show you how you can download some of the district approved software onto your classroom computers. First of all, make sure that you've logged into the computer using your teacher or staff username and password. Then open your internet browser and go to the district intranet site, ACORN. Most of your computers have this as the home page. From the ACORN home page, click on technology support from the top menu bar and when you reach that page on the right you'll see a list of choices click on the bottom one software application installer when the file download security warning window opens click on run click on run again at the next warning window and now the postscripts window should open first of all make sure that CGCA is listed as the site it should default to that and click connect now you can click on the software tab and see the different software choices. There are district-wide choices and site-wide choices that you can choose from. I'm going to download Google Earth today. After you check the box of the software that you want to download, you click on Install Check Software. You can install more than one at a time. This is warning me not to reboot my machine until all the installs are complete. Then I click on install one more time. Some of the other choices of software that you might like to, to try are Windows Movie Maker, Exam View, CPS, which drives our clicker system that we have here, and Active Inspire. Active Inspire is a wonderful flip chart creating software program that makes some really great ways for you to bring instruction into your classroom. There's also this Google Earth and GIMP which is a graphics manipulation program. So once it's done installing I'm going to click disconnect and see it tells me right here it's finished. I'm going to click disconnect and I'm going to exit out of those two windows and when I get back to my desktop I find that it has placed an icon on my desktop and it has also loaded the program into my program files and that's as easy as it gets no more calling the help desk to install these software choices have a look at it and see it, see if there's anything you'd like to download and if you need any help please just ask thanks for listening